What's up, Stephen here. Now, just a quick impromptu video. Oh, man, I wasn't intending to take this, but it was too incredible. Each Gundam series, they produce their own sort of toys that you build, you model, um, and it's essentially it's grown so large. It's there's it's its own genre, I, I guess. Um, there was one series where it became quite meta, essentially, and made a series about building these plastic models and using these plastic models to fight each other. Think of it as, I guess like Beyblade or Yu-Gi-Oh combined with Gundam in, in the way that there's tournaments and non-life threatening events but still quite epic battle scenes brought the element of play to a whole new level. There was a basically an accessory called a gunpla base, sort of like a phone type thing that people put onto some sort of arena and then their Gundam starts becoming alive and then they start fighting. Yeah, so when I saw this, I had to get it. Didn't end up building it for a very long time because I didn't actually have any Gundams to really play around with and I just never got around to it. Today I got a small package in the mail. <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm going all in into this. This is a basic tool set for building Gundams. It's actually very impressive. It comes with these nifty set of pliers. They're actually incredibly sharp and they're oiled and it feels so smooth. There it is. Tweezers. A file. A bit of oh, yeah. They even gave us, gave me like a screwdriver and a flathead. Not really sure what I'd need those for. And there's a knife. Plug life. Decided to put this into use. Quickly make this little mini accessory. What comes next though is, is insane. It looks it's very simple. Just a couple of pieces. I just you just cut them up from these runners and then you put them together. Basically fancier Lego. And then I realized so there's a plastic section here. You can put whatever you want. You can put this in or you can put any sort of picture. And then I realized, it looks just about right for a magic card, but I tried magic cards, they didn't work. But I had something smaller. Lo and behold. It's time to duel! Okay, I'm kidding, but yeah, so. Ha 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 ha, it fits perfectly. I don't have, I didn't really have any gun related cards um, or any Yu-Gi-Oh figurines to really match it with. But I think a robot card like this would do the job nicely and th there are grooves inside here that just hold the card in place so it doesn't it won't get um, folded in underneath this plastic cover I guess it'd be better if this cover was of lighter plastic so then it won't be as as dark oh man <laughs> but check it out guys remember this guy remember this guy from a few videos ago Pavados he's not a desk bot Man, I wasn't expecting this uh, freaking slot in just like nicely. That gives me all sorts of ideas. Not really. I'll probably just find because I can. I could find. I could go make a custom Gundam card and then put it in here, or I could get a Yu-Gi-Oh sort of figurine and just play it that way. I don't know. This is just. This is pretty cool. Unexpected elements, gimmicks. So elegant. Anyway, that's it. Just a short video. I just couldn't help but share this because <laughs> it's so neat. It's a small touch. Anyway, I'll catch you guys around. Hope you enjoyed my very quick impromptu video. I just had to share this. I'll see you guys next time.